Quilts, and we are again working on another t-shirt quilt I mentioned it in another video I have actually fused all of my pieces together and I use the steam fast steam press and if you have not used the steam press to do your interfacing you are missing a treat it went so much faster it normally would have taken me two days to do these shirts and I did everything in about three hours maybe uh, I didn't really time it but I know it wasn't two days so I have like various shirt pieces this is a sleeve and I wanted to use these stars along the bottom wasn't sure if I would put anything in the middle so I just kind of fused some pieces onto the back so I have this table here filled with pieces some of them are small I am actually going to use the same layout that I used in the Harley Tracks quote so if you want to sew along, please do so. Also at this time, I had Bonita Nance. She's been sending me photos and I told her that I would add them into other videos and I have not because I knew I was doing another t-shirt quilt. So what I'm going to do is show you all of Bonita's photos that she has sent to me right now. I'm just going to throw in an extra clip here. just moving some of my smaller pieces off the top because these are going to be more fillers I have written down the sizes on a piece of paper of all of my block sizes that I cut them into I'm one of those people that I don't like cutting all of my t-shirt quilts into the same size if I can get away with it and that's because I don't like them really floating like if I've got a little motif here and then I'm cutting a 15 inch block that's not something that I'm attracted to and so since this is my quilt I thought that I would lay it out like the Harley quilt now a lot of these pieces are not quite as big as the Harley quilt my largest piece is actually 17 and a half by 14 and a half and then they go down from there so I am just going to try to lay this out with that thought in mind
after trying to lay this out in a Harley Treads format, I'm realizing that I have more blocks than what the Harley Tread is trying to use. So I am not going to be able to use this layout. So I'm going to have to go back to EQ and redesign this using the exact sizes of the pieces that I have. And I don't think that that will be a problem. And I'm leaving this clip in because I want you to know that sometimes what you plan or want to happen doesn't happen. And that's part of my teaching on YouTube is that things don't always go out initially how you plan. And so I am just going to go ahead and pick these pieces back up in the size order that I had them in so that I can know where they are in the stack and then I am going to try to do this on another day. Today is not, to, not the day.